right, we're live. Hello, everyone. And we're very excited to greet everyone here at our weekly USG alumni talks. And today we have a very interesting program because we are hosting three people. Um, we're, we're supposed to host three people, but unfortunately, one of the participants um, was not able to join. Maybe he will join later. Um, they are all graduated from ACCESS program. I don't know if you heard about this program. Uh, ACCESS, it's um, a wonderful program. The full name for the program is the English ACCESS Micro Scholarship Program. Um, and it provides the opportunity for people, um, for students um, who are 13, 20 years old to um, learn English, to have extracurricular activities, um, for free and it's a wonderful program and i'm very excited to have um these guys here who actually experienced this program uh in their life and uh, hi guys how are you hey hi, hi everyone uh so i want to introduce you to everyone uh let's start from uh janat Janat Suraganova is a participant of Access, Access English for STEM program 2018-2020 in Nukus. She is now a student of Nukus State Pedagogical Institute, majoring in mathematics. Janat, thanks so much for joining. That's great yeah. to have you here. <laughs> yeah, thank our... you for introducing me. Yeah, it's it our is, pleasure. Uh... I'm honored to be here, uh, to be the part of this inspirational community. Yeah, uh, thank you for having me here today. Thank you, it's our pleasure. And our second participant is Donior Matyokubov. Uh, Donior is a senior student of Urgenj State University, the Department of Biotechnology. He graduated from Urgenj Access English for STEM project uh, in 2020 and he performed academic excellence at his university in volunteering community activities. He has started his research in food safety, modernization, and microbiology. Uh, Daniel, hi, and welcome, and thanks so much for your time, and thanks for coming. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Gilsan, for introducing me. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's probably start the presentations. Um, all right, so I see we have our third participant here. Let me add him to our conversation. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm really sorry to be late. Uh, it's all right. You probably was working, right? Yeah, I'm working hard, so hard. That's why that's my problem. All right. Um, let me introduce you to everyone too. Sitik John Tursunov is a participant of the Access English for STEM in Andijan um, in 2018-2020. And uh, he started his studies in the Institute of Machine Building this year. Um, and his Access program fostered to upgrade his knowledge and skills. And it helped me to transfer to Turin Polytechnic University. Uh, in Tashkent, and he is now majoring in mechanical engineering. Um, so it, it sounds very inspiring, and um, we'll probably start the presentation, and I'll give the floor to you guys. And we'll start with um, Zanat, right? Yes. All right. I'm sharing the presentation, and I'll meet you guys after the presentation. Okay. So today I will be talking about my experience at Access Program. Uh, you can turn to the next slide. The next page, please. Uh, this is uh, Access uh, English for STEM program. Uh, the official name of the program, as supported by the U.S. Congress, is uh, English Access Micro Scholarship Program. The Access Program is a two-year global scholarship program supported by the United States of uh, of America Department of States, and 
uh, Department of State that provides a foundation of English language skills to actually uh, economically disadvantaged students, but in this generation, there were selected high school uh, students uh, majoring in Stanfield to uh, teach English through um, after school classes and with enhancement activities and intensive sessions. So, uh, the next page. So, uh, let's talk about a learning process. The classes, the access classes, were definitely different from the um, from the traditional English learning classes because there were activities to uh, for improving skills like uh, group uh, group working, uh, critical thinking, uh, uh, leadership skills, and especially creativity because you are always in process of creating something, planning, uh, sharing your ideas, and sharing your uh, sharing your uh, opinions and just presenting your works uh, and ev uh, everything um, included building English uh, language skills uh, and but English wasn't the main goal uh, I mean English was a, a component in all enhancement activities as a part of the uh, activity uh, itself so all these uh, classes were just uh, exciting yeah, next page. Yeah, uh, during the program, there were um, there were many, many speakers, uh, guest speakers, uh, many uh, English teaching assistants, English fellows to discuss the many career opportunities to, uh, we talked about applying for US government uh, sponsored exchange programs and all in all, uh, to you know, to uh, ways in which uh, access alumni can be connected to the U.S. embassy, and yeah, during uh, during uh, five months, we had a speaking club with native speaker, uh, English teaching assistant, and uh, at the beginning of this uh, of this speaking club, I was a little bit uh, terrifying to. Uh, communicate because I just uh, I just didn't really know how to explain myself in the right way uh, and just uh, I just um, lost my uh, all my English words just disappeared in my mind during the conversation and time to time I felt myself um, you know frustrated about this and I think this feeling uh, motivated me to step out of my comfort zone and just uh, start speaking English, even if I'm using the incorrect uh, grammar and yeah, so um, incorrect. And yeah, uh, then I started to uh, everything has if everything had uh, uh, included. Uh, you know everything uh, have in my passive uh, passive uh, vocabulary passive understanding of English I was able to uh, pull it out of my brain and use it consistently and yeah uh, speaking English always uh, been a dream of mine and I understood that if uh, you can uh, listen a lot of English music you can watch uh, various TV shows you can um uh, you can just uh watch movies but if you uh, don't really have a, a reason to uh, use the language you will never uh, start to speak on it and yeah just i just uh increased my conversational skill in this class the, the next page please So uh, one of the memorable and exciting part of this uh, program was uh, organizing various American holidays like uh, Halloween, uh, Thanksgiving Day, Christmas, and other uh, events. So um, we made a handmade uh, stuff that associated with these holidays, and uh, you know. Uh, it helped me to increase my creativity as creativity is uh, one of the most essential skills uh, 
essential skills for, uh, in our uh, century. And yeah, and also uh, diving into this atmosphere, feeling this, uh, feeling another vibe, it uh, helped me, uh, you know, it made the learning process much more uh, interesting and exciting. And as you can see below in these pictures, we planted uh, trees. It was a kind of uh, volunteering, uh, volunteering project. And this, I understood that uh, community activities helps to uh, to understand uh, the ways in which we can. Uh, positively contribute to the society and help to our environment. So uh, the next page, please. Yeah, uh, as one of the uh, requirements of these projects we had uh, in summer camp, and in this summer camp we just uh, played a lot of uh, activities, played uh, sport, uh, we just, uh, we did a lot of uh, uh, active learning activities and yeah and also we visited uh, many cities uh, historical places and there where we met with uh, Ugench access students and you know we shared with them uh, with our ideas what we are going to do and they shared with their ideas and it was exciting and yeah um, in general, uh, access gave me the uh, gave, and before the access, I was unsure. I was a little bit con uh, unconfident in myself, and uh, access taught me to be uh, um, to be active, to be in, to communicate with, so to socialize with a lot of people, and just uh, you know, I. Uh, I understood that if I know, if I learn English, if I mm, I can uh, do something essential for my future career, and just it uh, allowed me to see my strong and weak points, and I and I will work on my uh, weak points and forward. Yeah, I think it is all uh, from my side for today. And I, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, it is now Sadiq John's turn, I think. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Anad. It was very interesting. You're right. Let's remind it to everyone. If you have questions, please don't be shy. Put them in the comments. And then adding Sadiq John. Thank you for nice explanation, Janet, about the STEM. And let's move on to the endogen problem, I mean the STEM problem. Next slideshow, please. So let's travel to endogen through the access. After its implementation, it began to spread around the world and came to the city to show its benefits. And the John is no exception. I'm sure about one of the advantages of access is STEM program. Let's have a look what kind of preference we have in STEM program. After starting this, after starting this study pro studying process, authentic atmosphere was created by teachers and uh, US Embassy. If you would learn the lesson, you would feel uh, this condition, as I said. On the top of this, we ought, we ought to in inform you about teachers and students. In the program, only students were allowed to participate and they were passion passionate about learning the role of the language. So in the beginning of the course, uh, the number of students were 48 uh, due to the pandemic. 12 of them uh, graduated, and you know, three teachers and one coordinator and one IT teacher worked with students. 
Uh, result of which some of the students obtained their IELTS uh, certification and the rest of them are able to make conversation in English without any hesitation easily. So next slide show. As can be seen in the picture, there was a setting uh, to learn the language. Uh, the most significant reason is that teachers focused on individually every student to get the knowledge properly. As a consequence, next page. Uh, as a consequence, uh, students were being addicted to speak in English every time, everywhere, even when they were with their family. They were passionate about learning the language because nowadays learning the language is becoming so crucial to most of us. This is a reasonable, they are willing to learn the language. Next page. Uh, furthermore, in the bottom of the nature, we have distributed uh, some uh, some place to be prospered, you know, and as well as it, it potentially helped us to be environment of the friendly. You know, being eco-friendly, it can have to environment to be uh, fresh, to be clean, you know. That's why we got to maintain our nature resource in the environment. So, next. Well, uh, actually, another interesting thing is that sitting adjacent like circle uh, was memorable, memorable for us because with the help of the, this circumstance, you can share all of your ideas and you can sort out your problem easily. The most significant reason is that if you have any kind of problematic situation mentally, you can give, you can deliver such kind of uh, problematic situation for the people, and they, all of the people can uh, solve your problem easily. Next. So, at the end of the, every lesson, uh, always did we used to share our idea uh, for the uh, every student uh, giving feedback or giving feed forward, you know, and it's crucial giving feedback uh, at the end of the lesson because if you have any kind of uh, mistake or incorrect state in your mind, you can uh, sort out easily without any hesitation. That's why it, is, it was really reliable as well as productive for us learning the language. Next. So at last, uh, after finishing our course, we, we went to the uh, real pictures village and mountains to get some relaxation and to get away from the from the at all. That's why uh, it is important if you have if you if you are in depression, you just you should go somewhere to uh, relax to chill out. That's why uh, we went to the, some mountains. Uh, make some conversation in this uh, in this circumstance we we met uh, different kind of people in diverse culture and we had a, a real atmosphere to speak in English in, in this place that's why um, I really appreciate this uh, occasion actually and I uh, recommend all for everyone to participate in such kind of uh, program because such Kind of problem can help can potentially help to explore your language without any, any hesitation. When I was uh, younger, I tried I used to try to overcome my language barriers, but I couldn't. After joining this uh, this program, I could I will I, I could overcome all of my uh, problem in English, and my thinking is in English. That's why I really appreciate this program. Thank you for everyone. That's all. Thank you very much, Siddiq John. It was very interesting to see your uh, experience with access. Mm -hmm. And um, we're giving the floor to Daniel. Hi, Daniel. It's your turn now. Thank you. 
Uh, next, please. So now I'm going to tell you about my experience during the STEM class. Uh, I have graduated Urgent Access English for STEM in September 2020. Two years ago, I enrolled to this program. I started with zero English. As I am a student of biotechnology department, I entered university easily and there weren't requirements of English. And next, please. So this tremendous program firstly provided me to gain knowledge of English. I have developed my four skills, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Secondly, this access program changed my mindset. As you see in the slide, the first time in my life in STEM classes, I practiced pair work interactive activities. And next, please. Our teacher, Feruza Masharipova, motivated us always. Group activities shaped my team building skills, presentation skills. So you can see here group presentation for each class. We did pair work as well as group work presentation. And we visited to laboratory, chemical lab, biology lab. We practiced there our STEM related vocabulary. And next. In addition, English language fellow Mila Gavila's conversation club helped me to improve my speaking skills. So you can see here in the slide, Mila Gavil is teaching us. And next. Besides learning English, we learned American culture, history, holidays. In this slide, we are celebrating Thanksgiving Day and President's Day. Especially on the President's Day, we learned history all of Presidents of the USA. We even made a presentation about Barack Obama, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, and John Kennedy. And next. In the next slide, we are celebrating Martin Luther King's Day. And we watched I Have a Dream speech of Martin Luther King. This speech really impressed me. Then we create a paragraph in groups and we even uh, made a poster presentation about our I Have a Dream speech. The celebration in the right picture is Women's History Month. In Women's History Month, we learned American famous leader woman. For example, Helen Keller, Clara Barton, Oprah Winfrey and Hillary Clinton. For example, Helen Keller, despite being disciplined, her achievements really inspired us greatly. And next, please. English language fellow Mina Gavil organized spelling bee contest in Urgent, and we all STEM students participated in this contest. And next. Twice in a month, we had a movie club. We watched American films there, such as The Pursuit of Happiness, The Help. And in this slide, we are watching for the celebration Black History Month, the film The Help. The film is about Afro-Americans' life, about their rights, and how they struggle in society. And next. IT class developed our computer literacy. We learned Microsoft Office, Excel, create, uh, creating PowerPoint presentation. I also created my own Gmail account and Facebook profile. And please next. The most memorable part of Access STEM project was summer camp. In the picture, you can see we are having field trip to Bukhara. We worked on our project, Ancient STEM Scholar, about Avicenna. And next. 
Next photo, you may see field trip to Samarkand. We are in Registan. Registan is a historical place. There are three madrasa, Sherdar, Telekyaru, and Mirza Ulubik. One of our team worked on Mirza Ulubik project. He was founder of astronomy in Central Asia. And next. <laughs> Going to Samarkand, coming back from Samarkand on the bus was really fun. We enjoyed singing traditional American songs here. So now I would like to for you say from Clementine with my one of Access STEM students, please. In a cavern, in a canyon, excavating for a mine. Built a miner, 49er, and his daughter, Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine. You were lost and gone forever. Dreadful story, Clementine. Thank you very much. And next, please. So we also had a field trip to Nukus. We visited to Sawitsky Art Museum. I highly recommend all of you to visit there because it has a nickname. It is Lower Museum of Central Asia. And next slide, please. Mr. Ambassador Daniel Rosenblum visited to Urgent Access English for STEM project and we talked about our future plan, goals, and our project. And we had a Q&A with Mr. Ambassador Daniel Rosenblum. And next slide. On September 18th, we had a graduation ceremony. And it was second time meeting with Daniel Rosenblum. I highly recommend all of um, this meeting. It was exciting and memorable moments in my life. And next, please. Our teacher from the first class told us access to highly needed profession in the world. Before the concluding, I would like to thanks to US Embassy, the organizers of this project and all teachers. So I'm going to share our access to motto that science, technology, engineering, and math, they are the keys to our future path. And thank you very much. Thank you so much, Daniel. Uh, we didn't know you're not alone there. You got your access um, friends there, right? This is great. Yeah, right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So I'm adding everyone to the stream, and now let's Let's go to the questions and well, let's see if we have any questions. Um, so first of all, we got many people who are, who are giving a shout out to you uh, and we'll just show it here and I'm not going to read them because they're not questions. And there is even a shout out from Firuza Masharipova, you, as we learned from the presentation, your teacher. <laughs> um, all right, so we have a question from Dania Hasanova. She's asking, thank you for the great presentation. I wonder what American traditions you learned at your classes? Did you guys learn any American traditions? Janat, let's start with you. Yeah, all this, you know, you know uh, uh, we have so, so many events, we had so many uh, holidays, and all this, uh, and yeah. It's all about America, right? <laughs> you guys have any yeah. 
Yeah, and I just want to remind that this program, this scholarship program is um, US Department of State program. So probably many of the events were um, about this. Uh, Daniel, how about you? We we heard the song, the American song, which is wonderful, just great. Yeah, uh, do you remember anything else that you guys learned about the U.S.? Uh, thank you for question. As I mentioned about that, we learned American traditional culture holidays. So, for example, Thanksgiving Day, and on the Thanksgiving Day, we prepared and ate uh, meals from pumpkins and turkeys. So it was so delicious, and we celebrated the 4th of November, 4th Thursday of November. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, okay. Siddiq John, do you have anything to add? Do you yeah, remember yeah. anything about the U.S.? Yeah, I had a... I had an extraordinary situation in the step because uh, in that time our uh, spe uh, our speaker, which is Alan, uh, came to our class and uh, he we tried to be a president in order to pardon some Turkey. It was a awesome, it was a really uh, interesting, engaging situation for me because I was a, I was a president, you know. And I pardon one, uh, one of one uh, Turkey. It, it, it is, it was a very uh, engaging for me. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Did it, was it like a? Uh, did you guys play it on the stage? Yes. Or was it a? Uh huh. Uh, three men, three men uh, stayed on the stage, and they tried to. Uh, why they they the why they wanted uh, to pardon the Turkey? And we explain, we express a kind of preference that yeah, Turkish had. And I, and I was president, I tried to uh, pardon the Turkey because the pardon, uh, because the Turkey uh, could speak in English and could fly on the sky as well as uh, they had some uh, preference to wake up the, in the morning the people. That's why I, I, Children, I have children one of two days in order not in order not to be killed, you know. Mm -hmm. so, that's fun. And it's also educating and it's fun at the same time. That's great. Mm -hmm. Um looks like Mina Gavel is watching us too. She's saying awesome talk, Daniel. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mina. Mm -hmm. Um so a question from Akbar John. Rosimov, Daniel, could you tell me what is your favorite American holiday? Let's start with Daniel, and then we'll move to other participants too. What is your favorite American holiday? Oh, my favorite American holiday is uh, Martin Luther King's Day, because at the day we learned I have a dream speech of Martin Luther King, and I wrote my own speech like a Martin Luther King's speech. So. One day I have a dream speech. One day I will open my own university. And one day I have a dream that I open my small business. That's all. That's great. All right, Janat, what about you? What is your favorite American holiday? Okay, I think. Janet is frozen. Let's move to Siddiq John and then we'll probably get back to Janet. Yeah, Thank you yeah. for question. So, Actually, uh, I'm willing to participate in Thanksgiving holiday because when I'm when I'm when I see the uh, Thanksgiving holiday, they 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 have huge amount of people on the street and singing song and uh, making communication and uh, watching some extraordinary situation you know it was uh, my dream in the future in the long run i will go and watch it uh, in my free time yeah let's hope thank you yeah. and janat you're with us what's your favorite yeah, i holiday? guess i guess my uh, favorite holiday american holiday is thanksgiving day because uh, it is i understood that understood that uh to be grateful for everything you have, uh, for even for bad days, for good days, 
days and, and think about and uh, to be thankful for your friends, for your uh, relatives. It's it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is wonderful. Right. Um, it's a big holiday, actually. Thanksgiving, it's a huge holiday. Right. Um, so we've got a lot of good questions, um, uh, good comments uh, to, you, to all of you guys. But I want to ask a question. Um, are you using the knowledge that you gained at your access STEM now in your present life? And if yes, where exactly do you use it? We've heard from you that it's not just English, right? It's computers. Um, you also had some travels, you went to the museums, uh, interacted with everyone, with each other, with American teachers, even with ambassador. Um, do you use your knowledge in your present life? Anyone who would like to start yeah, first? Uh huh, Janat, please. Yes, I'm, I'm used. I'm currently I'm uh, improving my skill, English skills, English uh, improving my English level. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, I'm having some research and because you know uh, you can. Uh, 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 some research a lot in your field because there are we, we so can many, hear you uh, sources for, for uh -huh. in All right, um, let's let's wait to Jana to come back. Um, Daniel, do you use your knowledge in your present life? Uh, yeah, it's that good question for me. Uh, I use my novels uh, every day. For example, recently I started my research, and uh, in researching, my I using this my knowledge because. During the STEM class, I learned IT class and English deeply, so it helps me during my research. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, Janat, can you say something? Can you hear us? All right, let's move to Siddiq John and then to Janat probably. Siddiq John, how do you use the knowledge you gained in your access program in your present life? Mm, yes, thank you for outstanding question actually. So nowadays I'm using my extraordinary knowledge which is speaking in front of the people. Uh, the most significant reason is that when I was a younger, uh, I had some language barrier I, while I was looking for some call to overcome it. Uh, one of my teachers is Diliopa, uh, could help me to understand what is the mutual comprehension between native and uh, other cultures. And it could help me to understand what is the, uh, what is the gain, what is the not gain, you know. That's why nowadays I can make uh, conversations, make interaction very easily without any hesitation. That's why, uh, if, I, if, if there is any kind of uh, new phase, uh, I can easily get in touch and speak in English effortlessly, you know. That's why it is productive for me. It was productive for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Janat? Janat? Uh, Janat, Janat? Poor connection. All right. Um, Maybe you can try to reconnect um, again. We'll see. Um, let's move to other question. Um, we have a question from Akbar John Ruzimov. Um, actually, it was a 
question to Janat, but let's answer everyone. Uh, what is the most memorable activity in STEM class? Um, actually, like John, maybe you, you want to start? Yeah. Actually, we had a different kind of uh, activity which we feel love to uh, participate. Uh, one of them is singing song. Uh, the most significant reason is that when you sing a song, you will be energetic. You will get some relaxation from the singing. Uh, every other every other lesson we uh, did we did uh, did we used to sing a song uh, properly because uh, the, our teacher uh, was really um, passionate about uh, singing song and. We got something new from this uh, particular occasion, actually. Mm -hmm. So singing songs is was memorable for you. Great. Yeah. Daniel, what about you? How about you? So the most memorable activity in STEM class was watching movie, singing songs, and uh, solving a crossword. And especially mm -hmm. my uh, the favorite activity is watching movie. And I can example that the pursuit of happiness is my favorite movie. We watched it with all STEM students at university. Uh, Will Simmons is my favorite actor. He is main actor of the pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm. That's that's great. Yeah, I love that movie too. Very inspirational. Yeah, inspirational. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you guys. Um, I hope Janat will reappear and answer this question too. And we have a question from Gulshoda Yadgarova. Which country do you want to continue your study in the US and in which university, if in the US? Have you guys thought about it already? Yeah, well, that is, that is an interesting question. Hello, me to explain. Uh, in the long run, uh, I will maintain my study in Turin Polytechnic University in Italy. Because I'm, I study mechanical engineering at Turin Polytechnic University in Tashkent. Uh, my master's degree will be in the Italy, not America. But uh, I have a I have a desire to uh, to go on my study in the US. At US, uh, but um, it should be a long time. It should it should take a long time to study there. That's why. After graduating my master's degree, I will go to uh, US. Wonderful, great plans. Daniel, how about you? I want to study my master's degree in USA, especially Technology University of Massachusetts, because uh, this university is a basic leader in biotechnology. Biotechnology is my major. And mm -hmm. I love US culture, holidays, that's all. Mm -hmm. Great. Janat, can you hear us? Janat. All right, let's let's wait. Maybe she will appear. Um, all right, thank you guys. Next question from Dania Hasanova. Dania, I hope you're gonna get well. Please be well soon. How do you practice your English? Do you speak in English with your peers, friends? Then you do you speak English with your peers and how do you practice it? Mm, learning English, one of my favorite hobby. So I learning English every day with listening podcast and watching movie, listening uh, music and uh, watching a BBC uh, broadcast on the TV. So and I leave my friends with, uh, we always speak in English with each other. Mm -hmm. All right, great. So, John, how about you? So, actually, uh, in the first time, you, you should, you ought to uh, create a real atmosphere in order to learn the language. If you don't, if, if you don't have like uh, such kind of uh, circumstance, you will be, you will not be able to uh, get the knowledge in English. Actually, uh, I always try to uh, collect some friends which which can who can speak in English. And uh, every every time, every day, we 
we always take action to speak in English and conversation will be in English. And uh, even if we sleep in the night, we, we try to uh, speak in English uh, in front of the audience in my dream, actually. It can help, it can potentially help to explore your language, actually. And uh, when you go somewhere and when, whatever you, you do, you should speak in English. Every action, every kind of situation, you should translate it. And your uh, imagination, your thinking will be in English. It can help to explore, it can help to, to improve your English, actually. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Um, that, that's an interesting activity to try to speak English in your dream. Um, a side question. Have, once your English is good, have you heard that American Center Tashkent is opening a debate club? So you guys, if you even speak English in your dream, so maybe you can join that and that would be a great thing to continue with your English too. Although it's perfect, but anyways, if you yeah. haven't heard, check our social media and it's there. Registration is now in progress. Uh, okay, we are passionate about mm -hmm. All right, um, Janat, can you hear us? No, I don't think so. All right, so um, I want to thank everyone and I want to thank you guys. Thank you, Danior. Thank you, Janat. Thank you, Sadek John. Um, it was a very interesting insight and it was a great um, time to tell everyone about Access Program because right now uh, I know that many access programs around the country are starting their classes. So if students have seen you, um, they will be very excited about their classes. And uh, those who haven't, have never heard about access, they learn something new from you guys. And uh, that's wonderful. Thanks so much for your time. It was great. And I hope our other access students will also uh, be willing to tell us something about their uh, experiences. Um, and we'll hope you will participate in other in our programs um, by American Center Tashkent. Yeah. Um, do you guys you. Uh, want to say something? Mm -hmm. No, no question. No questions. Okay, Daniel. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Gilchan, for your having time. And another time, if I ha I have a chance to participate in this kind of uh, project. Without hesitation, I will join. Yes, that's a good point um, to everyone. Don't hes hesitate to join any programs by supported by the US Embassy and it's, you're gonna have fun and you'll get something interesting from that. All right, thank you guys. And um, uh, thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Sadiq John. Thank you, Janat. Um, and I hope we'll see you someday in person. Um, you're all in different time different parts of Uzbekistan, but we were able to get you all together. <laughs> That's great. All right, have a good evening and we'll see you later. Thank you everyone for wonderful questions. See you guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for your Thanks, Emilia. Mm -hmm.